Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still alive and kicking. Um, it's been a while since we got on the YouTubes. Uh, towards the end of the year, just uh, it, like I've said before, it gets so busy at the racetrack, you know, mostly when it's just me and Todd working on the car and trying to get going. And uh, we actually got the car, we got banned um, middle of the year. We got it back out, we transferred it completely over to IMCA. And uh, so we got that thing back out and we're just trying to fine tune that a little bit. So throughout the night we were more focused on that than really uh, getting the GoPro stuff out. But uh, overall we uh, did pretty well with it when we come out of the box. We had a couple little minor issues with it. We had to change some stuff up on it from the UMP package, but uh, it overall it turned out pretty good. We, we ran really good, really happy with uh, how it ran. Uh, we ended up winning, I think the final night we ran at, over at Merritt Speedway, we won that race. Uh, we run second a couple times with it, and then just uh, a couple little minor issues, uh, stupid things happen. But uh, overall, really, really excited to get it out for next year. Plan is, as of right now, is to head down to Florida again for the Clash on the Coast um, at Southern Raceway and Northwest Florida Speedway. That is the plan as of now. And hopefully, I actually was just down in Destin a couple weeks ago, we were down there on a little family vacation. Um, we went over to Hunt the Front Shop, got to talk to Jesse for a while, checked out their shop and all that stuff. Um, but talked to him for a little bit, and as of now, the plan is for him to jump in the car again for that uh, series down there. So we're really excited to head back down there and have Jesse drive for us again. Um, so look for more info on that in the coming uh, weeks, months or so. But uh, no, like I said, we're really excited to have him back in one of our cars and get back down there and uh, see what we can do. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd jump on here, just check in with you guys. It's been, like I said, it's been a couple months since we've been on here. Just a bunch of stuff going on. Like I said, we were down in Florida for a couple weeks. It was my daughter's birthday, so we had that, you know, whole birthday party and everything and just a uh, bunch of stuff going on. So we've, we've been slacking pretty good on the old YouTubes, but we're back. Um, looking forward to the 2024 season. As of now, we're done for this year. Getting the cars tore down a little bit and uh, some new parts put on. But uh, actually heading down to Diamond, hopefully here in a couple weeks, got two brand new Diamond cars. We're gonna be picking up IMCA cars for a couple customers up here in Michigan. So really excited for that. We got one returning customer and we got a new customer coming on. So I'm um, really excited to have them guys get the new cars out. I think uh, Brian Brinley's gonna get his new KT3 out for next year. So uh, we're gonna have a good little bunch of guys in these new cars. So really excited for what we got to come with these things. Another thing we did really cool, um, actually, I think it was like two or three weeks left in the season up here. Um, Austin Harnick was crashed his late model real bad, totaled it out, and actually he jumped in this car here, as you can see on the side there, H47. Um, so that was really cool having Austin get in one of my cars. He ran really good. I think he ran, he ran up the three three nights, I think it was, and ran top three every night with it. So that, that was really cool. Austin's a good kid, and him and his dad and his mom are great people. So. It's awesome putting them in the car and um, just getting some feedback from them guys. You know, they're pretty pretty sharp when it comes to these race cars. So it was nice having uh, them guys, you know, tell me what they thought and little things we could do to make our stuff go faster. So that was that was really cool. Um, yeah, so we're just out in the shop tonight, kind of just dinking around a little bit. Nothing, nothing too crazy we got to do. We're going to do a little sheet metal work here probably at some point. Um, I think if Jesse ends up running the... Uh, Clash on the coast. This is the car he drove um, when he was up here and last year when he was down in Florida. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to swap bodies. This body's still in pretty good shape. And this car here's got, you know, we pulled the motor out of this one to put in the new car. So that one's pretty much ready to go. So I think we're just going to swap bodies and uh, run that one for uh, Jesse there. I think we, the only thing we got to do that is a couple little parts we got to swap out. We found some things that were wrong and then um, do some valve springs in the, the engine. But other than that, that will be ready to go. Figured it'd be a lot easier than taking the motor and all that stuff out of that one, put it in this one where everything's pretty much the same on that. We just got to, you know, like I said, change the valve springs out and adjust the belts and stuff for Jesse, obviously, because he's a little bit smaller than we are. But um, yeah, so. We'll be getting that car out down there. So really excited to have him back behind the wheel. Hopefully all the other uh, guys down there, hunt the front dudes can uh, 
pick up rides and race as well i'm not sure what their schedule looks like for their late model stuff and their streaming stuff and all that crap but um hopefully they'll all be down there but uh as of right now jesse will be will be driving that other car so we're really excited for that so just wanted to say thank you to all these great sponsors for the 2023 season we got corrigan race fuels fk rod ends baker built performance penske shocks three lake spray foam obviously diamond race cars Peaches and E Boutique, We've got Roland Shout Racing Engines, Weir's Machine, Swift Springs Racing 411, All Star, True Form Race Products, Welch Buildings, Dynamic Drive Lines, Thurlby Automotive, We've got Quick Car Racing Products, Eddie Thurlby Motorsports. Obviously, if it wasn't for him, we would not be doing what we're doing right now, so can't thank him enough. Turn 3 Gang, Modern Images, just. Uh, everybody that helps us out and then obviously everybody that uh put together that deal when we went to florida you know the 50 names or whatever it is i can't thank all those people enough for that that was that was really cool that helped us out a ton to get down to florida it definitely helped with uh just everything you know diesel fuel and all that stuff it's kind of high dollar to get down there for kind of what we're racing for but we just appreciate everybody helping out like that that was that was really cool i'm not sure if we're going to do something like that again before we head down this year but if we do we'll let everybody know but uh yeah i just wanted to get on here and thank thank all these great people you know, it's it's tough to do what we do and you know the help of all those sponsors and stuff it it helps out a ton you know just anything really you know even buying our you know merchandise and stuff like that you know all the fans and stuff couldn't do it with all them it's just uh we've got a lot of great people behind us so just want to say thank you very much we really appreciate it so a quick little recap on the 2023 season we ended up with eight wins on the year i think we got like 21 top fives and 27 top tens but uh, we only ran 30 races this year i think it's probably the least amount of shows i've probably ever ran in my career back in uh, 2012 13 14 we were running 70 80 nights a year but uh cut it back a little bit we just uh going up and down the road that much is just insane really i mean it's racing non-stop from february through october you know every single weekend find somewhere to race and um it's just tough and then like this year just rain outs and we had a lot of stuff going on throughout the summer you know took a couple weekends off and um went boating and stuff like that and just uh running 70 80 nights is just just crazy anymore uh just wear and tear on stuff um i don't know it just it's not that much fun anymore to run that much uh but i would have liked to run a little bit more than we did this year but uh overall i'm pretty happy with how everything went um i think next year's schedule is going to be a little bit different than the last couple years i this year we ended up winning the track championship at merritt even though we took a couple nights off um tri-city we weren't in the points there we took way too many nights off over there to do that but um definitely not not going to run for points again uh probably next year i don't see it happening but uh i think it's going to be the schedule is going to be a little bit different we want to get out and maybe hit a few tracks we haven't hit in a while a um, couple of them that I've been wanting to go to just haven't had the time to get over there so that is the plan as of now but overall really happy with 2023 um, Chase he won I think five or six races in his diamond car Brian won three or four uh, Jacob Trumer won Calvin Stemler won pretty much everybody that's got a diamond car up this way uh, won races this year so that's that's really cool it's um just shows how good these cars really are you know uh diamond got into the imca game a little later than everybody else but i feel like we are uh definitely right there with everybody else but uh these new kt3 cars i am really excited uh the, the stuff we got going on right now is is really good i'm really excited to get back out this next year with them and uh, like i said a couple more guys get in them we can fine tune them a little more I've got uh, Ryan down at Diamond already working on some stuff for me for next year. We're going to test when we get down to Florida. Uh, just a couple things that he thinks definitely going to help uh, the KT3 stuff. So um, I I just uh, can't thank him enough. This car is it's unreal. I've never drove a car like it. Um, like I said, we had to do some minor adjustments to it. But uh, the adjustments we were doing are kind of crazy. So um just most guys are always looking for traction we're trying to get traction out of these things so um 
I can't complain about that one bit. But uh, yeah, figured I'd jump on here, check in with you guys, let you know we are live. We're still gonna be making videos. I'm gonna work on some stuff where we can get uh, some more videos at the track. I'm gonna do a lot more videos this winter when we get going on this stuff. But uh, yeah, just look for uh, some videos in the next few weeks. We got some big announcements coming probably after February after we're down in Florida when we get back from there we're gonna have a couple cool things that we're gonna do um, something big for CTR so we're really excited but uh, if you get on Peaches and E-Boutique we're gonna have we have all of our merchandise on there right now um, we're probably gonna have a, a sale here soon all the 2023 merchandise look for that we got some uh, die cast cars we're going to be getting here probably in the next week so look for those that are going to be on the website as well it's peaches and e boutique it's my wife's website um send your wives over there she's got a bunch of women's clothing and stuff like that check out but uh yeah so i'm going to jump off here let you guys go get back to uh pretty much doing nothing out here honestly but uh we'll check in with you guys probably here in the next couple weeks let you know what we got going on but we appreciate everybody watching we lost some subscribers unfortunately i guess being off this for a while people don't want to have it on their uh subscribe list i guess i don't i don't know but we lost some of you guys but it is what it is thank you guys for uh sticking around and staying subscribed make sure you hit that like button uh comment you know, if you guys got any questions on what I got going on, maybe we can put it in the next video or something. But uh, like I said, I appreciate everybody watching. We will check in with you guys later on. Thanks.